There's an effort to try to get San Diegans who have solar panels on their roofs more money for the power they generate. It's been one year since a new state policy slashed those benefits. And new at 5 o'clock, ABC 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky shows how a plan meant to make power bills more fair has also cost thousands of jobs. The demand for clean solar energy has skyrocketed in California, and now it's a big part of how we power our state. But while the rooftop solar business should be booming, instead it's taking a big hit. That's just because there, there's less demand for, for these types of projects right now. That's Walker Wright from the biggest solar company in the country, Sunrun. He says all this green energy is making a big difference to our environment, but they still had to lay off 62 employees this month, and they're not alone. There are a quarter fewer rooftop solar jobs than there were just a few years ago. This chart shows the number of solar installations statewide in every February for the last 10 years. You see a two-thirds drop from last year to this year. What's the difference? A new state policy called Net Metering 3 took effect last April. I think the, the, the impact on, on the rooftop solar industry is just, is just obvious when you look at the data. Net Metering 3, or NEM 3, cut the benefits of having rooftop solar. If you bought rooftop solar after April, you're getting 75% less money for any extra energy your panels produce. If you had solar before last April, you're keeping the higher rate, but only for a few more years. There are a few reasons for the policy. First, supporters say wealthier homeowners are more likely to have solar, which means lower income families were actually subsidizing that great solar deal. Second, we now generate so much solar energy that we were paying high prices for something that's actually a lot cheaper now. And third, we make so much solar that on some sunny days, we produce more than we can actually use. Simply put, supporters say the new system is fair and more realistic than the antiquated older NEM2 policy. Wright says we need to find a better way to make sure rooftop solar thrives. It's a winner for consumers, it's a winner for the environment, and it can be a winner for all the payers. Several groups are suing over NEM3, and just last week, the California Supreme Court agreed to hear the case. We'll keep track and let you know what happens. Jeff Lasky, ABC 10 News. Before NEM3, it took an average of seven years for a homeowner to pay off the solar panels. Now that payoff time is between nine and 10 years. Utilities are among the issues Jeff covers in San Diego County. If there's a story you want him to know about, email him directly at jeff.lasky at 10news.com. To see other stories, scan the QR code on your screen.